All right, thanks for watching here with uh, finding exact values with trigonometric functions there. And so we want to find the exact value, no decimals. So, sine of, so we want to use our unit circle to help us. So sine of 120 degrees, you would go on your unit circle. And so this is all the way to 90 degrees. So then 90, 90 plus 30 is 120. Good. So there's our 120 degrees all the way to there. And then we're looking for we're looking for that uh, coordinate, right? We're looking for that coordinate there. And so uh, that coordinate um, right there would be um, cosine and then sine is that coordinate. So we want the second one. So we want the y value. And so that y value, if we make a 30, 60, 90 right triangle, so let's see here. So that would be the one there. So this would be 60 degrees here. Let's go ahead and uh, make this a bit bigger. There we go. So we're finding that coordinate there. There we go. And so right here is 120 degrees all the way to all the way to there, 120 degrees. So that coordinate would be over one half for the x value, and then up radical three over two. So one half is cosine, and then sine is radical 3 over 2. So sine of 120 degrees is equal to radical 3 over 2. Bam. So if you want to look at your unit, you can draw each picture on each one of these. You don't have to. You can just use your unit circle. So you'd go to your unit circle that we filled out. You want to memorize how to fill that out for the quiz or test we do on the unit circle. And so here's 120 degrees. And so 120 degrees, and then here goes cosine, and then, because C comes before S in the alphabet, so cosine and then sine, so radical 3 over 2. So, for example, if I said, you know, like cosine then of 30 degrees, of uh, 30 degrees, you go over here, and also radical 3 over 2 is the same. Same answer, radical 3 over 2. Crazy, huh? But sine of 30 degrees, however, on the other hand, would be 1 half. Cool. Now, just to verify that, you can use your calculator as long as your mode is in degrees for this one, which it is. And so you could just type in sine of 30 degrees is 0.5 or half. So 0.5 or half. Um, if you want to check your answer for number one, we would do uh, sine of 120 degrees, and uh, so is 0.866. Well, that's the same as the square root of a 3, right arrow, divided by 2. And it's the same thing. Cool. So you can use your calculator to verify and check your answers there. But we got some hard ones here too, right? We got some hard ones. So for example, what about negative 315? Or let's do one that uh, I didn't do. Let's see. Ooh, yeah, you got some challenging ones here, don't you? Um, so let's go ahead and start with, ooh, let's do sine negative 300, number 14. So we would go to a negative 300 degrees and look for the sign on our, on our unit circle. So you're actually going to have to visualize this now and think it through. So use your unit circle with your finger and then go like this. There's negative 180 because this is going in the negative direction. All the way to negative 270. And then all the way to here then because negative 270 plus 30 would be negative 300 degrees. And so that's this guy right here. And then this is cosine, and then this is sine. So sine of negative 300 degrees is actually radical 3 over 2 as well. You can use your calculator there. So, um, but yeah, we could use it in a circle. That'd be better. So we would go uh, sine of, just to verify now, negative, so sine of negative 300 degrees is 0.866, right? 0.866. Um, or, in other words, radical, radical 3 over Radical 3 over 2. Cool. So that's our answer for number 14 is what that was. Yeah. So the answer is radical 3 over 2. The exact trig value. Nice. Now you're saying, well, what about these tangents and cotangents, cosecants? Let me help you with that. Um, so basically, tangent is equal to sine over cosine. And the reason is because sine is equal to the opposite over hypotenuse. And cosine is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. And so we multiply, if we multiply by hypotenuse over hypotenuse, <coughs> or hypotenuse over 1, 
over hypotenuse over 1. The hypotenuse will cancel, and what are we left with? Opposite over adjacent. Toa, T-O-A, Toa. So that means that sine is obviously equal to sine over cosine. Didn't know that, did you? That's cool. So for number 13, you'd have to do sine of negative 45 degrees divided by cosine of negative 45 degrees. And use your unit circle to help you. Now I can already visualize my unit circle because I've practiced that much on writing it down over and over. And so negative 45 degrees is right here. And so I know that coordinate is going to be positive right radical 2 over 2, but then down on the y value, negative radical 2 over 2. Cool. So then all we have to do is um, sine over cosine. So that would be negative radical 2 over 2 divided by radical 2 over 2, which is just cancels out to just negative 1. Booyah. You can put tangent negative 45 in your calculator. It might work. It might not. So show your work. So tangent, just to check your answer now. Cool. Negative 1. Okay. So then looking at the secant and cosecant. Um, so basically, I'm just going to give you the formulas here. So cosecant is, uh, again, it's 1 over sine, right? The opposite, of, uh, the opposite of the first. This is how I memorize it. The opposite of the first letter, right? So this is C, so I'm going to change it to an S and call it sine. So we're saying that this is 1 over sine of negative 240 degrees. So we go at our unit circle. And we go negative 240 degrees. Here's negative 180. Negative 270 is uh, that's too far, so back it up a bit. So negative 240, let's see, 180 plus 30 is negative 210. Um, plus another 30 is um, negative 240 right there. So negative 240, oh, the reference angle, huh? So the reference angle would just be 120 degrees. Yeah, because if that's negative 240, well, 360 minus 240, use the reference, that's what, yeah, use the reference angle, right? And so the reference angle will be 120 degrees is the reference angle. So we're just going to use um, the reference angle, which is right there, 120 degrees. And so what is 120 degrees? Um, well, it's left um, a half and then up, um, so it's negative a half, and then up radical 3 over 2. And so sine is referring to the second one, radical 3 over 2. So then it's going to be not 1 over sine negative 240, but 1 over radical 3 over 2. And that's not quite our answer because we do need to simplify that by flipping it. Flip and multiply. So 1 times radical 3 over 2. Wait, flip and multiply. And so our correct answer is just going to be 2 over radical 3, actually. There we go. And so if you don't believe me, calculator. So we'll go 1 divided by, and then we have, um, we had to use cosecant, which is sine. So 1 over, so cosecant is 1 over sine, and then good, 1 over sine. And then we have a negative 240 degrees. Now that's going to give us a weird, crazy decimal. But it should be 2 divided by radical 3, shouldn't it? Because that's the answer we got. Booyah! So that's the right answer. 2 over radical 3. is. Uh, there's no cosecant button on your calculator. You just have to memorize it. It's 1 over sine. That means the cotangent is going to be um, cosine, cosine negative pi, 5 pi over 6, and then um, over sine. This time we've... We flip it, right? Because if, if tangent is sine over cosine, then um, cotangent is cosine over sine. And you just have to do those two different problems in one problem, evil. And then negative 5 pi over 6 is just before 6 pi over 6, which is just pi. So we're going to go this way, right about there. You can look in your unit circle and count over negative pi over 6, negative 2 pi over 6, negative 3 pi over 6, negative 4 pi over 6, negative 5 pi over 6. Cool. So that has the longer x value, negative radical 3 over 2, and then down negative 1 half. And so we're going to need both of those, actually. So we're actually going to go cosine. There we go. We're actually going to go cosine of negative 5 pi over 6 is the x value, which is um, negative radical... 3 over 2 is, uh, I'll do it in blue, this is negative 
3 over 2, and then down a half. So we're going to do negative radical 3 over 2, that's what cosine of that is, divided by, um, and then negative a half. So the negatives will cancel, and the 2's will cancel, leaving us with just radical 3. Wow, that's cool. Because the negatives will cancel, and then if you times by 2 on both, like they cancel. Yeah, just radical 3. Cool. So that would be the same if you wanted to check in your calculator. You would have to go change your mode to radians. What? First time I've shown you this ever? Maybe. So change your mode to radians. Second quit. And you would do, um, let's see here, you do cosine of a negative 5 second pi um, divided by 6, close parenthesis, divided by sine um, negative 5. Five. See how we have to do the problem twice, pi divided by 6, close parentheses. And so that'll give us 1.732. Oh, what's that? Well, that's why you have to do it this way, because the calculator won't give you radical 3, and we need an exact answer, no decimal. But we can verify our answer, and booyah, radical 3 is the correct answer. Sick. So, um, so number 11, secant, is just going to be 1 over cosine of 30 degrees. Do you already have that one memorized? No? No, I kind of do. That cosine is the x value. And so you go over radical 3 over 2, then up a half. So over radical, so this is just 1 over, just 1 over radical 3 over 2. And then you flip and multiply. So it's radical 3 over 2. Um, flip and multiply. And so, yep, because we, no, 2 over radical 3, new bull. Flip and multiply, because those will, 2's will cancel. So yeah, it's just 2 over radical 3. Cool. So number uh, 11 is just the same as number number 10. Slow me down. Take a look again. Watch it carefully. Watch it carefully. Watch this video. You got this. You got this. Okay, so then just there at the very end, I almost forgot. So um, I think the other side, let me just double check here real fast for you. Um, so I think the other side is, um, you know, circle is just review. Isn't it just review? Um, I think it is. Let me see here. Find exact trig values. I didn't put it all in my blog yet, or on my website here. Convert degrees to radians. Use your calculator just to plug it in. Yeah, so number 27, 28, just type it in. Tangent, negative 750. Ooh, make sure you're in degrees for number 27. Number 28, make sure you're in radians before you just plug it in and push enter. Um, and then these ones are um, finding positive negative terminal, just a review of the last assignment. And here's some multiple choice. Cool. So thanks for watching. You got this. Make sure that uh, secant is 1 over cosine, and then uh, secant is 1 over cosine, and then, um, and then secant is 1 over cosine, and then cosecant, number 10, is 1 over sine, negative 240. Cool. Okay, you got this. Thanks for watching. Come see me if you need help. Peace out, brother, sister. Thanks for watching. Yo, yo, yo. What's up? Thanks.